the Magic Kingdom. And um, so did one of the uh, the what? Guess the, we're the animatronics this bear. escape. No, that's what I really <laughs> thought it was too, but it was a bear. <laughs> And they're Country saying it bears, was, yeah, they, they're saying it was a female bear. I think she wanted to get in on to the, the act to the country bears. Yeah, yes, the country absolutely. Bears. But it was a bear. Put on a tutu, and, and they managed to uh, coax the bear out of the tree with, I guess, a tranquilizer. And there's video of it where they're taking the bear out under a white sheet and everything. It looks like a crime scene. Did they try it? Um, uh, did they what? try a chalupa? I, think, I don't I think know. you could have just waved a chalupa and then the probably, bear would have come down. Probably, but I feel bad for the, the poor chalupa. bear because, you know, you have to think now. It was at the Magic Kingdom and you and I know on 192 where all those trees are, uh, especially where the turn that we make to go to our place, Lake Wilson, there's all those trees and right on the other, other side of the trees the is like, is like yeah. the all-star. All the uh, all-stars. All yeah. the all-stars are over there, all those hotels to stay in. And I'm thinking... Where the heck did this bear come from? That for well, some reason I can't follow them. Okay. How much? How much? How much brush yeah, did this bear have to go through to get no, to the magic? There's Michigan? so much construction in the Disney area yeah. right now. The, the Scaring obviously, the, yeah, you're you're in, invading the uh, <clears throat> habitat right. of the bear. And yeah. So, yeah. But but I think they they, they Unfortunately. did they did catch it and and they rehomed it. To a, I think they said it was a reserve um, a couple hours away from Orlando. So that's good to know. But they had to close um, more than 10 attractions at the Magic Kingdom. Um, I will have to get that list. I don't have it in front of me. But they did close the attractions. Not not the Carousel of Progress, I hope. I don't know. Everybody's favorite. Hey, I like that. (laughs) I'm going to tell you, I enjoy that little attraction because, yes, it was the one of the final things that Walt did. But it really is a yeah, especially place to the go video and, game and rest scene. That's a that's bit. that's got yeah. Walt's fingerprints all over oh, it. Oh yeah, that does. That yeah. does. Uh, so anyway, if you want to see that video, it is at the uh, Disney Trip Tips Facebook page where um, they do release the bear uh, out into the wilds of some park, and it's just you, the bear. The bear's like getting out, like Come looking on. so bewildered. They, they took know. it to Bush Gardens. Maybe, maybe there you go. That's what they did. They let it out. <laughs> they took it to Bush Gardens and they let it they out. Let it out over there. And it's okay. probably it's probably just on a you know a one day uh, backstage oh, pass. Oh wait a minute, Bush Gardens. You said wait a minute. Here we go. You wanted to know about the closures. Um, three of Not- the Magic Kingdom's lands, uh, sightings of the wild a- animal prompted the closure. Here we go. Big Thunder Mountain, Country Bear Jamboree, <laughs> the Hall of Presidents, Haunted Mansion, Jungle Cruise, Magic Carpets, Pirates Adventure, Pirates of the Caribbean, Swiss Family Treehouse, Tom Sawyer Island, and the Walt Disney World Railroad. Now, they could have just what, left what? it on Tom Sawyer's Island, yeah, exactly. couldn't they? Well, man, I mean, now, granted, finally a good people. use for it, right? Yeah, exactly. there you go. Go find that paintbrush. Right. <laughs> that paintbrush is really there. Exactly. The bear's got it in its mouth. Right. Good luck, kid. All right. Um, Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival, Festival continues mm-hmm. until November 18th of this year, so that certainly is a lot of fun. And I would go hungry, and I would definitely go thirsty. Uh, Disney is making some changes to one of their iconic hotels, and they're going to be hiking prices to over $1,000 a night. Uh, the Disneyland Park, this would be out in Anaheim, and this is just just crazy the way they are redoing things. They're doing lots of updates to Disneyland Hotel. 487 new rooms are going to be inspired by 11 different classic Disney tales, and the most elaborate rooms are the suites. Frozen, Cinderella, Tangled, Beauty and the Beast. And there's also going to be a castle club where it's going to be a hotel within a hotel that will occupy the top two floors of the building and have its own private check-in area and elevators. Did you I say I, up I to think. or that's the going rate? Right? That's, that's that's what they're that, saying. The up to, up to $1,000 oh. at night, okay? Oh. Um, they're all, also going to be uh, fixing a new restaurant called the Royal Banquet Hall, which will replace Inventions. Inspired by the Grand Hall. I guess of it depends castles. on the time time you're going there, right? Yeah, that that again, that actress, uh, what's her name? Rachel Zegler, Snow mm. White live remake. Now they're saying there was a story going around that they were trying to put out the news that oh, she's not going to be in the film now. She's she's going to be away from it. <laughs> but then that was sort of like a, what do you call it? Like people were fishing, P H I S H I N G, fishing to get this story out there. But then it was still on. Now, as of yesterday, I was reading that this actress may not be in this film because yeah. of all the complaints. There's there's lots of blowback. Yeah. I mean, it, just really should, it shouldn't be that, you, that she should be 
in this movie. I don't care whether you like the movie or not, but you know what? You're the star. Shut up. Right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, thank you. Even if you like the old, if you hate the old movie, shut up. Take the you, money. And, Michael, and, you are you know, so right. It's really easy. You are so right about that. How many of us do stuff in our jobs that, you know, you're like, oh, this is distasteful, but whatever. I need the money. Okay. Right. Okay. And apparently she doesn't. Well, you. Oh. Come on. No, no, you're no, telling no, no. me you're right. you wholeheartedly agreed with every advertisement you ever oh, read no. for, for 30 years. Oh, no. Oh, no. Although I, you, I, you made it sound like you cared. Well, you, you know, well, you, well, that's acting. Right. <laughs> there so, you go. Well, see, that's my That's whole, all she has to do. Okay. Well, it's, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That was my next statement because I think that's what people should do. If you are paid to act, just act. Read the lines. You're paid to pay, play a certain sport. Play your sport. Okay, you're in the theater. I want to be entertained by you. I don't want to hear all this other stuff. So, oh, it's not it's not um, that you can't have your opinion, but the like the respectful way to do it is uh, get a burner account and put out your opinion that way. Get a burner right. account. Yeah, oh exactly. Like who knows? You know, you can be a LeBron James fan twenty twenty three eight zero one 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 seven, and then really what you are is you're actually LeBron James and telling us how great China is or whatever it is your opinion is, and, and don't use your celebrity to endorse. Your opinion that's that's the part that gets me is uh you know i don't care if you have an opinion and you know go ahead and 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 say it like the rest of us chumps right but don't act like your opinion carries more because you yeah. play a sport or because you're an actor yeah i mean we say things but you take it for what you want to take it as you know yeah, as we're they chumps. Say, like, we a, say like, a, like a grain of salt you take right. it for how you want to take it i mean okay uh bright line remember that train yeah uh, of course. It, op- it opened a few days ago i know and from miami to orlando it 74 dollars a- round trip well, well, it says the prices will range from $79 to $298. That's for a single ticket. And they have the different tiers where you can sit, including yep. first class, business class. World's most guess. dangerous train for pedestrians. You know, I just read that. Yeah, they I run over people all the time. Oh, my gosh. This was like the sixth <laughs> fatality that's yeah. already happened. Yeah, but it's this people. This latest I mean, one. Look, caution, uh, don't stop on the tracks. Yeah, well, this latest right? one happened last Friday in Palm Beach County. Right. All right, don't so stop on the don't tracks. stop on the tracks, oh, okay? Because this thing is not going to stop for you. No, but, it's moving. Uh, yeah, but it is called the Bright Line Train. And again, it takes three hours and 28 minutes from Miami to Orlando, vice versa. Um, and they are running 36 trains. So that's a lot of trains on the track. But, but you again, could, you could please be careful. MCO, you could pop down to Miami, catch a concert within walking distance of their station, uh, and then just come back. Well, is that, if I was looking at a picture of it, is that train going to go to the new part of the airport? Yes. Yeah, so I thought that's what I saw. Okay. I mean, so, it, has, yeah. it has its own station, but. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Right so there. if you want to come up. But again, three Those hours. signs are already up. Yeah, so so three hours and twenty eight minutes to travel, uh, Miami to Orlando, and then vice versa. So, uh, but that's cool. That's good to know. I'd like that would be fun to take. Uh, I found an article now about a young lady who on the internet. Yes, on the internet, I found wow. it. She said she lives in Orlando and visits Disney World weekly. Okay. Now, you and I, we just dis- we discuss. Um, we are now annual pass holders, and we have been really a lot. And do you find that we'll always see something different, right? Sure. Do you, do you, do you believe in that? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Well, this young lady said that, you know, she's gone every week and she said she's lived, a, lived near Disney World for over five years and she's a former employee and a frequent guest. She says that it's great to go. All the time. Now, of course, she's saying because she must be an annual pass holder too. Uh, the parks are the perfect place for a date night. You and I have done that on a couple occasions. Uh, there's always a new snack to try at Disney. Um, she says uh, she goes on to say that the theme parks are actually a great place to go for a workout, and that I can believe, especially like when you're in Epcot and you walk the entire perimeter of all the lands that are there. That's a pretty good workout. You know, to get to one location to the other. In fact, I ran it one time to get to Soren um, because uh, the kids wanted to get on the front line and we ran to you or something. You okay. were saving seats for us. Uh, anyway, she goes on to say <laughs> that there's no shortage of live shows and music, which we can really? agree on. Right? We can agree on that. Okay. Uh, she also goes on to say that one of her favorite things to do is spend time with the family and friends at the parks. So, Was she eaten by an alligator? 
Was she? No, she wasn't. Oh, okay. I was wondering where the news was in that story. No, this is no news. This is just a little story that I found about someone <laughs> right. who was a worker at Walt Disney World. Who got eaten she by an alligator. Lives, she now lives in Orlando. Or a bear. Stop. She lives in Orlando, and uh, she doesn't work there anymore, oh. but she still makes a point of going It was to a bear parks. riding an alligator that had eaten her. Stop. Oh, my God. Are you going to bring up that story I'm about trying to alligator? make some news here. Well, that is news. All right, oh, so you bring no, up no, the story. No, Go ahead, no, bring I'm up a, the story. I'm going to summarize what no, you no, just no. said. No, bring up the story. A woman likes her annual pass plan. <laughs> She's an annual pass holder. Oh, my God, you've got me so confused. That's what you just said. You know, maybe you shouldn't be on here. you got me so darn confused, Michael. That's what Michael. you just said. Oh, uh, okay. Um, okay, here's a, here's a little news. All right, well, uh, so, you know how the Disney World uh, has a new governing body because of all the uh, the woke stuff and then yes. the governor and all that? Uh, so, the new the new committee took away uh, the annual passes that were part of the benefits package for the employees. Oh, <gasps> really? Yes. But we still have ours. No, no. You're not, no? An, empl- you're not an employee. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not an employee. That's right. right. You're okay. not an employee <laughs> right of, right of, the, of the whatever it is. Uh, the, uh, the, the, shoot, not Buena Vista. It's the Reedy Creek District. Reedy Creek. Okay. Right. So wait a minute. People that work. Free people, people, employees of employees? Reedy Creek okay. used to get annual passes as part of their package. Wow. And they, the uh, the governing board took that away. Wow. So that's like a punishment. No, and then they gave them a $3,000 stipend. Oh, okay. Which annual passes we know don't cost $3,000, you know, so they don't. actually ended up better off in yeah. the, uh, <laughs> in yeah, the deal. Yeah, I would have taken that, yeah. So, Wow, when did go. that happen? Uh, a few days ago. And then also in news, uh, Iger uh, made some comments during... Um, some business meetings, business calls, uh, where they seem to be starting to step back from the woke culture thing. I just read that too. Right. So go on. Go but that's just about it. Because it, that, it was just, it was just, there. he just said he was going to quiet the rhetoric a little bit. Right. And basically, in, in our opinion, stop hating your customers. Yeah. <laughs> right. <And> yeah. <laughs> that's, I mean, that only that's really sense. all you have to do is, is stop hating your, like, Rachel, what's her name? Zegler. Zegler. You know, maybe you don't hate people who like the original Snow White because that was, you know, how it came off. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you like that, you're weird, weird. Remember? <laughs> yeah, I mean, but but for Bob, but that's what that's what Disney's been doing for the longest time now. I mean, since you know, since the late days of Iger, and it, you know, the stock prices have noticed we're at a ten year low. Yeah, right well, now I knew you were going to bring that up. Of course, I was going to bring that up. <laughs> we're at a ten year. We're in. I'm sorry. We're in the seventies. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh! Right, that's we're in the seventies, and you know what they're doing? They're thinking of selling ABC, and that'll make the stock price go I up. Know. Wait a minute, who was going to buy it? Who was out there? Who was oh gosh, buy that it? that oh. magnate, the uh, the media magnate. I, I know who you're talking not, about. Not not um. Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. Also, it'll it'll come to. Oh, but, it will. I know. When the show's over, it'll be like right. Oh, then we'll get the name of it. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Really? Oh, oh! They're, they're you're cracking t- uh, Byron, Allen. Byron Allen. That's Byron Allen. Byron Allen, who you. was a comedian, right? right and right. then he was a talk show host. Yeah, or but something? Ray, he's been a, a, a media magnate for yeah, a long time. Yeah, he's been doing that for a long right. time, and he's like going after it. He, he wants. Want, well, he wants ABC, it. right? I wonder if he would change things back uh, to what ABC. We don't care. Well, no, because no, ABC at, at that point, a big part. Of d- yeah, but Disney, Disney and ABC would be two different entities at That's that point. True. I still say. So you, it's not like he's going to come in and and take over ABC, but still be a part of Disney. It's good. It's they're selling ABC. Well, I still. And then they're also, you know, uh, they're talking about. Sixty billion dollars that they're spending on the cruise lines and the uh, right. theme park updates, and you know what the stockholders went like? Blah, stop. Yeah, like well, I, well how, funny, about, how about you make a few bucks on your Disney Plus? Yeah, well, funny plan. you should bring that up where it says Disney reveals sixty billion ten year spending plan for the theme parks, cruises, and more. This story stock came went out, down three percent on that news. Yeah, this this story came out on September twentieth, and it says that, like you had said, um, they want to. They, it says a presentation included in the filing referenced adding about a thousand new keys, hotel rooms, or other lodging units to the Disney Vacation Club product. Yeah. Uh, they want to build up the company's timeshare operations. Uh, there's also developable, developable 
acres across all of its existing parks, the equivalent of about seven new Disneyland parks, uh, with Walt Disney World in Orlando having the vast amount of land available right. for growth. I mean, I could see, yeah, it would grow again, but as you and I were talking about, what, a month ago, where we were talking about the movies and Disney Plus and then the parks, it, it's got to be, it's got to be to me, you got to make the parks work Sure, and you got to pay for what the parks have to be. But you also have to make it a magical experience, right. not right. not a uh, watching two two people fight over getting on to it's a small world experience, right? Which is what it's become. Yeah, it's it's become, and that's why attendance is down. We've noticed it yeah. when we go in. And, and just now there was somebody else who posted a video, this young lady, she went to one of the Halloween parties, and she said that she was kicked out. Because she was had posters of Captain America the musical on her. Okay. Basically wearing posters. She wasn't, you know, showing anything. Right. But she was kicked out for that is what she said. Oh. Didn't go into any other detail, but she was kicked out for that, which I, I still don't understand that. It is a family But event. that Captain America uh, the musical or whatever it was, was a flop or something that they were somebody was thinking of doing. Mm. But, you know, as you had said, the filming of things and the fights that have been taking place yep. and, and just the anger that's been taking place yeah. at these, at these parks. It's just sad. I really do think that if they're going to I mean, do this honestly, with this money, I've never really you got to really, you got to really focus on the parks and this is family time. And this is where you had said, you got to bring back some of that magic. Yeah. Right. You know, I and, mean, and, and you're and, not going to please everybody. I know. But. And, and part of it is, I mean, as, as ridiculous as it, it sounds, it's the engineering of the Magic Kingdom itself where, you know, the utilidors are how trash gets emptied and how, you know, uh, hot dogs get refilled at, at, at Casey's and, mm -hmm. and things like that, where you don't see any of any of the operational or well, you see minimal operational uh, aspects of the park when you're in it, which makes it seem, I don't know, more more friendly to the guest and. You know, we, we had said that uh, at AK, you know, you just see these rolling garbage bins, people well, going around. Day. Yeah. Magic's magic, broken. Rag, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Illusion spoiled. Like, yeah. I, I know where I am now. Yeah. I'm, I'm watching somebody work, which, you know, the there's no way for you to have a smile on your face and be a, a good cast member when you're collecting refuse. Boy, that is true. Right. When you say that, it's like they're just. Really, they to me they've got like blank stares on their faces. Of course, yeah. All right. Well, again, referencing that sixty. Same with Hollywood. Yeah. Same with Epcot. Sixty million. Well, that writer strike, I believe, or sixty billion. Excuse me. Um, I think that writer strike is winding down. But then there's going to be the actor strike or care. something. <laughs> um, anyway, the no cost breakdown of that sixty billion. But in the presentation, they said three hundred and sixty new Disney Vacation Club cabins that will be opening at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort. In Orlando in 2024, right. 240 new Disney Vacation Club rooms added to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Um, and the strategy describes multiple goals, including to accelerate storytelling, expand its footprint, advance commercial, leverage talent, and reach new fans. Again, now see, they're, they're bringing in, to me, that's bringing in the Disney Plus again and the movies right. and everything. And I understand you've got to keep that part. I truly do. But but why? It's like, mm, it's like I'm getting frustrated with this because I understand you have to have that machine that has to feed, that that has to be fed, and then you've got to let that food out to go to go make good things happen in other places. Well, that's, and, and you were talking about the, the writer strike. That's, that's the interesting thing in all that is that there's so much content out there. Did you even notice? That new things weren't being made? No, right, yeah. Did anybody really notice that Jimmy Kimmel wasn't on the air? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there no was one a story noticed. about that, too. But like, no one noticed. Back. Yeah. No one noticed that... Unless you really up, are up and watching. And but who is? Yeah. Seriously, who is? It's just on, right? That's where they get their ratings from. They're, they're just on. Nobody is a big follower of Stephen Colbert or Jimmy Fallon or whatever. They're... Late night isn't what it was in Carson or Letterman's day. It's because there's just so much to choose from, right? Boy, that's true. And there is so much to choose from, and there's such a backlog on Netflix and Hulu and M Prime and Disney Plus and you name it all. All these streaming platforms that no one noticed new content wasn't being made because 
we have no hope of getting through it all in our lifetime. <laughs> right? No I hope know. of seeing all the great movies that we want to see. Yeah. Yeah. No hope at all. And so it's like, mm, you know what? The strike, that's what it taught me. It taught me that, uh, you know, we could go watch Citizen Kane a couple more times and really take it in. Right. Well, somebody had said <laughs> that, know? that yeah, somebody had said said that um, like some of the new shows for the season on what I call the, the low channels, because we never really watch like CBS or ABC and NBC. Just in cities, right? I, I and get, it's just because it's on. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. And, and, and you know, because I'll watch news, Fox News, and I'll watch like other movie channels, like Michael said. Yeah, we're big and West is, fans so, when we're yeah, in town. There's so much content out there that like you just said i I, it's like i never i I didn't get the remote and go oh i want to see the new whatever you know i didn't see right and and if you if the networks are making a good show the way you watch it now is like i got into modern family oh like the year before it ended right oh yeah we we all did and so i no, the year that's when i got into it so i watched season one through season five in a sitting Right. Mm-hmm. And I really didn't care about season six or seven or eight anymore. It was like, okay, I got through all the funny stuff Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and I can live with waiting for you to do it. And if you don't do it, I can live with that too. Okay. Right. Yeah. Unfortunately, right. that's the thing. I mean, it, it, it's, it's the lament of, you know, here's the big thing. Who's thinking of the Roman, how many times a day does your, you know, your, your boyfriend or your husband think of the Roman empire? Okay, honey. Right. Well, no, no, that's the well, thing right now. That's in my head. Yeah. It's, it's a meme right now. And the thing is, all the damn time. Yeah. <laughs> right? And yeah. you know why? Because we're in Pax Americana, the end of it, right? Where we celebrate celebrity more than we celebrate achievement. Oh my right? gosh, Michael, that is so true. Right? And then, and that's, and we see that in the uh, American Pavilion when you watch the show, what, whatever the name of the show is, in the American yeah, Pavilion. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Right? That. Where we go from. George Washington to Abraham Lincoln to uh, Theodore Roosevelt to Jonas Salk to the Kardashians, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you, you're telling me we used to we used to idolize people who cured polio, and now we idolize people who have a big Instagram following. Oh my gosh, gosh, you were so and, right. And that's exactly the way the rest of the world wants it. That's the end of my my soapbox. That was but good, honey. That was good. <laughs> there you yeah. go. That's the exactly the way everybody else wants it. Well, you, well, I think well, you and, and I don't think there's anything wrong with the American spirit. I think all of us are out there achieving, right? I don't right. come to the show what once every three or four weeks because I'm out there doing my job, and my job is, you know, it's it's helping people respond to emergencies. Right. Um, well, well I, as I said this to you the other night, where you know, just going on Facebook to, to check a few things. And I don't know what the fascination is with people holding the camera up, watching your children eat or watching their children eat. Um, and, and not that the kids are being sloppy or anything, but it's like, I'm watching this kid eat and the mother saying, all right, we're going to go to the store. And it's just, there's no privacy anymore. Yeah. It's like everything is just out there in the open. Why? Yeah. Uh, why? Seriously. Now, now, because it, sure it, it, right, it gets them clicks and it gets them money. Clicks and it gets them money. I understand right. that. I mean, I mean, I guess that's why we failed at it because we're very private people. I mean, granted that we're talking now no. and we do the show and we enlighten <laughs> you and, and, and give you some information, you know, of, of Disney and then us and everything. But and our idiotic opinions yeah, of it. Yeah. Yeah. But we're not that way. And, I, and not that I sit and I watch these videos, but every now and then one will pop. You, no, I don't. One will pop up. In fact, you said to me, what's that baby crying? That's, because no. it was No, the I lady. said, why are you fascinated with Asian kids eating? No, 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 well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you are. It wasn't just You're Asian children. With that. There's, a, there's another lady out there. I forget which one it is, but it's these two women, these moms, and they have these young babies. And the camera's just focused on this kid eating. And I'm like, what is it? I, th- I, I don't understand I mean, the fast. Well, you know why? They're I can, cute you know as a what? button and noodles yeah, they are, are funny. They're cute as a button. I mean, yeah, this guy's got pasta all over her face and everything. But I can say it now that I'm now that I'm older. I can say this. You know, I'm too old for all of this now. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to put it out there. It just it doesn't really interest. You're talking me. about old content. So we had. Uh, we had what, um, what? Oh, wait a minute. What we had like a wet weekend because that storm came through, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. And so <laughs> I spent my time. Uh, reading golf magazines from the late 1890s yeah i thought that was interesting 
Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, but I read about the matches that happened in 1890 because it just it fascinates me. The way they wrote was so eloquent, succinct and perfect. And and they use the language in ways we don't use it anymore. It must have been a dog fight. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no dog no. fight. Oh my God, you're no, no. And you don't play golf. You play at golf. You play at oh, no. so, oh, oh. This is proper. He's using no, no, proper no. English. Remember, and so you put in a Scottish accent in your head. Oh, a Scottish accent. Wait a minute, a Scottish. Or whatever. I'm trying but to think of Sean Connery. The English hadn't really taken up the game yet. They were just they were usurpers to the game and and a usurpers. Uh, yes, wow. exactly. And there was a there was a big uh, argument over whether Harry Varden was more English or Scottish, and because he was a great champion mm. of the time, and he came from the Channel Islands. And so, so that would be England, uh, Jersey, right? Jer- 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 Guernsey, uh, Gern- Guernsey, Jersey, or Jersey, okay. J- Jersey. All right, because yeah, there's a Guernsey from. also. No, okay. not Guernsey, Jersey. Okay, but the Channel Islands in between, and yeah, yeah. and so the argument was since they were more French and the Scottish were more allied with the French than the English that he, even though he's an Englishman was really more Scottish than English. Okay. And, and so good. Scotland was trying to protect the, the heritage of the game and, and say, all oh, the greatest golfers are Scottish. Yeah. And of course the Americans came along and ruined all that. Oh, I know you do. You ruin the golf. Honey. <laughs> uh, one more thing I want to add in here. Um, I did watch something on Disney plus a so a soca. Yeah. Um, the character from Star Wars. Yes. And this is the live with the jester action. hat. Uh, f- would you call that a jester hat? Looks like a jester hat okay. to me. Well, I, I th- know it's, I thought it was it's pretty physically good. attached okay. to her. I, I, I like it. I and like she's it. a Jedi. And I, yeah, she's a Jedi. So I, I, I will tell you, I do like that story. So do you? Um, yeah, I do. Hmm. Well, you know, I liked Rogue One. I liked um, Andor. I really did like it. And you've never watched them. And they're no. really good. They're not childish or anything. Again, they're good stories. Okay. You're not going to beat 1977. All right. Okay. No, so I try. know. You're Star Wars. Right. All right. That's going to do it for us. Have a good one. And the repeat of the show is this evening, 70, 